So let's explain boiling point acceleration. So as you can see, you know, you've already seen this this uh, this section vapor pressure. When it gets to like here, here's a vapor pollution. Uh, here's a vapor pressure of a solution. Here's a vapor pressure of a pure solvent. You know, they have different um, stages where they become solid or liquid. And here, for example, we're going to look at the pressure of solution. So, solvent uh, pressure boiling point is over here. So it'll become boil, it'll become a gas. And solution pressure uh, boiling point is over here. So this change here, this temperature delta T B is going to be very useful in the boiling point uh, elevation formula. For example, here it is too, uh, liquid solute plus water vapor. As you can see, this po portion here is where the boiling point increases. We're doing the same thing over here. Now, how do you find the boiling point? Boiling point is equal to T B. Again, this one here, what I've just shown you. So, you take T B, multiply it by the KB, which is usually given plus MB. Another thing is Q, uh, KB, um, you, can, you, you can, you know, find out the mass of this uh, boiling point solution using this formula, which is approximately uh, not really that important. Now here, you have the freezing point. So what ha what's happening in the freezing point? Well, this is liquid, it's going into a solid crystal phase, so it's freezing. Condensation is occurring. So it goes from a gas, goes condensation goes to a liquid, and then freezes into a solid, and so on and so on. So let's explain this theoretically. So as you can see here, here's a solid. Solid is here, and here is the solution in a liquid form. So it starts to freeze at this point, you can tell. And you can also see that it starts to also freeze at this point. So here is the freezing point depression. You know, here's the solid goes into its freezing point depression. Now keep in mind that um, potential changes, the S, the entropy of vapor is greater than the entropy of liquid, which is greater than the entropy of solid. So using this, form, using this kind of a theoretical diagram, you can find the chemical potential energy over the temperature and just find out depressions and then use this formula to find the freezing point.